Hey guys, Michael here. My dad's 80th birthday is actually in two days, so I need a quick cake topper. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna start off over here in Inkscape, come over here in the XES, finish it up, and then we're gonna head out to the shop and make it all out of black acrylic. Stick around, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Inkscape, and I'm gonna go pretty quickly through here. You have my mouse that you can see highlighted, and also down here in the bottom left, if I do a Control C to copy something, you'll see what I'm doing on the keyboard. So if I do a Control V, you'll also see that. So everything down at the bottom of the text is what I did most recently. So you can kind of keep an eye on there as I'm typing stuff on the keyboard. Let's make a cake topper. So I'm gonna start off by clicking the text tool up here and I'm gonna type happy. happy. I'm gonna change that font to something that I found online that says free for personal use and I'm using this for my personal use. So there's happy. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the selection tool, copy it, paste it, move that down here. That's gonna be the word birthday to change that font. I can double click on it. birthday and then I need to create a new font so I'm going to type 80 for how old he is now when you're in the font mode you can't stretch it out you have to change the uh, points number of points on that text however if you come over here to the selection tool you can actually drag it like that to make it fatter and bigger all right, now I wanna move this text closer to each other, but before I do that, I need to make it bold. So I don't have my, my text tool here, but if I come over here and select the text tool, it is available now. So I'm gonna select uh, bold and I change the spacing. Let's make the spacing minus 10 and let's try eight minus eight. All right, select the selection tool again, and I'm gonna resize this a little bit more, a little bit fatter. Okay, so I'm gonna do happy 80 birthday. I need a, I need a TH in there, so click the text tool, type TH. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna change the spacing. Let's try minus eight. Nope, too close. Minus four. That look okay nope a little bit further away minus five all right there we go and i'm gonna make it bold and select the selection tool and resize it i'm gonna do something like that now i'm gonna put all this together first but before i do that i need to curve my text and that's why i'm using inkscape to begin with so let's start off with curving happy when i select the text I'm gonna come up here, so you can't actually select, you can't curve text, you gotta convert it to um, like a, a shape, so to speak. So with this selected, um, you can come over here to path, object to path. Once you've done that, it's now a, a group of objects instead of a single string of text. Because down here at the bottom, while I'm still selected, it says group of five objects. All right, with that still selected, I'm gonna come over here to path, path effects now this right here will pop open on the right hand side it says path effects click on the bottom plus look for the word bend pick it and now i have a bend that i'm going to apply to this path i'm going to select the node tool here now you see that line that appeared on this happy i'm going to pick in the middle of the word the ballpark it in while holding the mouse down, I'm going to bend it. All right. Now, next thing I need to do is one more time, select path, object to path. Okay. Now let's do the same thing for birthday. So I have the text selected. It says text down here at the bottom. I'm going to say path, object to path. Now it says group of eight objects because there's eight letters in here. And then I'm going to say path path effects again it's already open over here plus bend node tool and i'm going to bend it i'm going to pick about in the middle if you pick off to the side it's going to make it look kind of weird 
So I'm going to stay in the middle and I'm going to bend it like that. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and select the selection tool, make sure it's selected, path, object to path. Okay, now to check to make sure everything looks okay, I'm going to select this node tool, kind of hover over it. It looks like, yep, all the letters are where they should be. Now, if it acts weird and like the, the letter you have selected is not actually the black part, it's like further down below, just select the selection tool, select it and say, path object to path again and that will fix that because I did have that issue um, earlier so with the selection tool selected I'm gonna move birthday up closer to 80 I'm gonna kind of resize these a little bit so they fit a little bit better move the th over here let's not do him yet All right, I'm going to center all these real quick. Highlight them all. And over here in, let's see, object, align and distribute. I'm going to center on vertical axis. So now they're centered. Let me zoom in, holding down the control key and the mouse wheel. Kind of make sure everything looks okay. Uh, I'm going to move this up a little bit. And what I'm worried about is the acrylic cutting right there. Let's see what happens. Uh, the bottom part looks okay. However, this B is not hooked up to the, the rest of the word. So I need to put a little line in here. And the same thing with the I. I want to go ahead and join that to there as well. Mm, you know what? I'm going to leave the I alone. I'm just going to worry about the B. So to do that, I'm going to use the pencil tool. And I'm just going to draw a horseshoe shape here. Draw it. All right. All right, so now that I have that little horseshoe shape in there, I need to join everything together. Um, but before I do that, I forgot about the TH. Let me move him over here. I don't know. I think that's going to work okay. Let's just try it the way it is. All right. So I need to convert all of this to SVG and then to create a, a one big um, cut file. So to do that, I need to select this node tool and pick all the letters individually. So starting with the top, I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to click the first one, hold down shift while holding it down to start picking everything. Path Union. So now it is one big piece. So I selected everything, select path, union, and now everything is one big piece. So I can say file, save as, and I'm going to save this as a SVG file. And I'm going to say this as 80th cake topper. Hit save. Now we're going to head over to XCS, import this into XCS and add the two little sticks you're going to use to stick it into the cake. All right, so hopefully that made sense to you. Um, if not, uh, rewind and try to follow that again. But now that I have my SVG finished up, I can import it into here and add my little legs to it to make it a cake topper. So I'm going to click on image, insert my 80th cake topper, hit open. And my acrylic that I have to work with, the max width is seven inches. So I'm gonna set, with this selected, I'm gonna set the width to be seven inches. Now, next thing I need to do is add the two little legs to this thing to stick it in, the, in a cake. So I'm gonna hit insert and rectangle. I'm just gonna pick a spot and drag it on here. Now, I want the stick, the stick to be about a quarter inch wide. So with it selected, I'm gonna change the width to five like that because I'm actually in inches so it's 0.25 is, is one inch and as far as the height goes I'm gonna make this about four inches high so to adjust the height separately from the width I'm going to unlock this lock and take this out and hit four now this 
stick is four by a quarter. Okay, let me move it over here to about where it's going to be. Copy, paste. I'm going to have two of them. Now, let me get that up in there like that. Okay. And that looks pretty centered. I can double check the centering. I can select them both, group them, and select it all, and say align center. So now it's actually centered. And look at that one. Now I need to raise that one up just a little bit if I want to do that. So let me say ungroup, pick this one, and drag it up a little bit more in there. Okay. So now I need to just group everything together, and that's pretty easy to do. You just select everything, combine, unite and now it is one big piece just to show you what it looks like in the acrylic it's going to look like that man it looks pretty good well hopefully that wasn't too bad i got my cake topper ready to go i'm going to save this head out to the shop and we'll cut it out of acrylic So I got it all finished up. The entire cut process took about 40 minutes to cut on the M1. When you're cutting acrylic, keep in mind you want to have plenty of ventilation. Cutting acrylic is basically burning plastic and uh, you wanna make sure you have your smoke purifier hooked up to your M1. Uh, you're venting your M1 out the window or in my case, you have your garage door open and blowing that smell outside of your garage. Don't be around there. Uh, protect yourself when you're, ven you're cutting that acrylic because it is really stinky. So this is the result of my cake topper. Um, I did go ahead and put a little bar between the dot of the eye and the stick of the eye just to get a little bit more solidness to it because I was afraid just that bottom part of the B wouldn't be enough and it would be kind of flimsy. Also that TH, I was kind of worried about the TH and it ended up being okay. It's actually nice and solid and uh, yeah, I don't have any issues with it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Let me know in the comments if you have a better way to curve text than what I found in Inkscape. I'm curious to see if there's an easier way. I don't want it too complex, and that's the easiest way I found to actually curve text inside Inkscape. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.